What's up guys, I Device Help here. Today in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak the iPhone 4 in iOS 7.1 and 7.1.1. That is a semi-tethered jailbreak using the application Geek Snow. Now before we begin, uh, there's a few things you need to download, so head on over to your browser and you want to go to geeksnow.com and I'll have a link down below for the website and download the Mac version. This is a Mac tutorial. Then you're going to need the Java Kit 7. Alright, so it's this one right here. Java 60 x64 and then you're gonna need also the Java SE 7 alright so you're gonna download here the uh, 48 uh, megabytes and once you download those three packages and install the Java kits and also the application you want to launch the application make sure you connect your device by the USB cable and we're going to go ahead and now uh, let me go ahead and demonstrate to you guys this is iOS 7.1.1 uh, running on this iPhone 4 okay so there it is, iOS 7.1.1. Again, also works on iOS 7.1. Now this is a semi-tether. Now once you connect your device to the computer via USB, you want to go ahead and check, click the number 1 and hit enter. And it's going to ask us to put our device in DFU mode. Now DFU mode, we're going to have to enter DFU mode a couple times throughout this video. DFU mode is simply hold the home and power button together for 10 seconds then release the power button and keep holding down the home button for a continuance of 10 seconds and again we're going to do this throughout the video a couple times so let's go ahead and do it for the first time one two three four five six seven eight nine ten release the power keep holding down the home button for another 10 seconds All right, so iTunes popped up it's saying that recovery message here. Uh, that means your device is in DFU mode. You should have a black screen like so. And now we're ready to begin with the jailbreaking process. We're going to go back into the tool. And now that we're in DFU mode, we're going to hit enter. And this process could take a while. The Java script window is going to pop up. This could take a couple of minutes. So just be really, really patient. If iTunes keeps popping up, that's perfectly fine. Just let it go. Uh, again, I'm going to edit the video so you don't have to watch uh, so long here on YouTube. But it does take a while. So just be really patient. Let your device sit. Don't touch it. All right, so once the first stage of this jailbreak is done, the JavaScript window is going to disappear. You're going to have an iTunes logo like so on your device. And it's going to ask us, which type of device do you own? Now, this part is very, very important. If you have an AT&T, you're going to type 3, dash, 3, 1 and hit enter. If you have any other iPhone 4, you're going to hit 3, 2. Or if you have a Verizon, 3, 3. Mine's Verizon, so I'm going to type in 3, 3. And... I'm going to put my device into DFU mode here in a few seconds. I'm going to go ahead and just close this iTunes right here. I'm going to hit enter. And it's going to ask us to put it in DFU mode. Now, once again, DFU mode, 10 seconds. And let's start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Release power. Keep holding down the home for another 10 seconds. All right, so their iTunes popped up again with the warning. So that means the device is in DFU mode, a black screen once again. And now we're going to go ahead and hit enter. And we're going to be really patient again. This process does take a little bit longer. All right, so if you see these letters scrolling down on your screen, you did everything fine for the second stage. Just let your device sit again. This will take a while. All right, so once the black letters disappear, the device is going to power up on its own and it's going to reach the home screen. All right, so once the device boots up for the first time, you're going to slide to unlock and you won't see Cydia on your home screen of your device. Now the device, it might seem like nothing's happening, but it is. So let it sit for about a minute or two and then uh, it's going to power off on its own and then we're going to go through the third stage of this jailbreaking process. So as you can see there, my device just powered off on its own after that first boot up. And now it's going to go ahead and power off and we're going to wait for the third stage of this jailbreak. So as you can see there, my iPhone 4 has rebooted for the second time. Uh, now it, it went to the home screen, no Cydia, powered off on its own, rebooted on its own, and now Cydia is on the home screen. But we're not jailbroken yet. Cydia is installed, but we have to go through the third process, which will begin now. We're going to put our devices into DFU mode one more time, as you can follow here on the tool, and then we're going to hit continue. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release power. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so now we're ready. And like it says here, go ahead and hit any button, hit enter, and wait for the device to boot up on its own. All right, so now it says jailbreak done. Press any key to continue. Just hit enter, and your device should be doing this one more time, and it should reach the home screen here in a few seconds. All right, so there is the third and final boot up. Let's go ahead and slide to unlock and make sure Cydia is working here on this iPhone 4. There it is. Yes, indeed. Now, again, guys, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And make sure you follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. And if you found this video helpful, please thumbs up. I really do appreciate it when you guys thumbs up my videos. And uh, there you guys have it. The semi-tether jailbreak for the iPhone 4 and iOS 7.1.1. There it is. Cydia fully functional. It is loading up. Once Cydia loads up, you can jump right back and start using your jailbreak. So there you guys have it. Please thumbs up, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.